Brand new season of Field and Stream, Total Outdoorsman Challenge. The reality series highlights the journey of 14 finalists battling to become the nation's most all-around skilled outdoorsman. One of this year's contestants is two-time challenge winner Tom Boatwright. He's from Perdido, Alabama, near Bay Manette. Tom is joining us on Studio 10 this morning to talk about the new season of the show. Good morning. Good morning, bud. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for being here. This is Thank pretty you. exciting. First of all, tell us, how did you become involved in the show? How did you find out about it? Uh, a couple of friends just talked about it and said, hey, they have a little competition at the Bass Pro Shop. Mm -hmm. We went down there and qualified, and I had no idea I'd get this lucky. So you qualified. What was the competition at that point? What was that all about? Uh, it's, uh, shotgun, rifle, archery, uh -huh. uh, fly fishing, bass fishing, ATV, endurance. It was seven challenges back then. So obviously they knew that you were pretty skilled in all this stuff and they wanted you to get out there and compete and you did and you did very well. So now you're part of this big, huge reality TV show. What was it like to be in front of the cameras doing this kind of stuff? Uh, you couldn't hide from the camera because they had one here, three there, five over <laughs> here. They had them everywhere. Does it make it tough to focus on the task at hand? What you, you described all those different challenges you're doing. I'm sure it's tough to do to start with, and then when you got cameras all over, mm -hmm. we're, we're taking a look at some of the video right here, some of the footage. That looks like some tough stuff. When, uh, I, that's one thing I had to do in my mind is, you know, mm -hmm. realize I'm going to have cameras everywhere mm -hmm. and just concentrate on what I had to do and stick with a game plan and keep my fingers crossed. And keep your fingers crossed. Now, tell us about the show. Uh, there's going to be a couple, uh, a bunch of episodes, and you're in the challenge. It premiered last night. When can people see this, and can they see you on the show going forward here? Uh, it premieres every Wednesday night mm -hmm. at uh, 8:30 on Outdoor Channel, Outdoor Channel, and mm -hmm. you can see it again Saturday evening at 5:30 and Sunday morning at 6 a.m. And you're competing to stick around for as long as you can. I hope I'm there for a while. Maybe everybody be proud of me. How's the competition? It's tough. Yeah. It, them guys there are serious. And, you know, they they not there joking, playing. I mean, they there's some of them that are, uh, you know, not real nice. You know, but <laughs> when, when it all gets through with, you know, they you know they good old guys. But that's part of part of the part of the competition. You know, get somebody. Well, you know, I'm scared to death of him. So I know some of them kind of does it at that angle. You're representing Perdido right here from the Gulf Coast in Alabama. Where are some of the other contestants from our area or kind of all around the country? I'm the only guy from Alabama ever made it. So wow. There's two guys from South Carolina, Kansas, Missouri. Got a good friend in Arkansas now that's in it, mm -hmm. and Texas. Now they're from everywhere. What do you think is your strongest event? Because these are a series of challenges. They set it up that way. What's your strongest event? My strongest event should be archery. I shoot a lot of shot a lot of bow competitions. That should be my strongest. But mm -hmm. you have to shoot their equipment. You don't get you oh, bring your favorite okay. stuff. They put it all on the table, and everybody uses the same stuff. So that should be my strongest. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of relax on it, and then I really concentrate on stuff that. I, not as educated on where I can cross my T's and dot my I's with other stuff. Sure. The Outdoors Channel on Wednesday nights. And once again, if you miss it, it's played again on Saturday and Sunday. As Tom said, hey, best of luck to you and thank you for coming yeah, on. And I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. No problem.